Once again, we got old Baldy back in the limelight about her supposed relationship. Any man with two eyes and two testicles knew that Jada Pinkett Smith is not the wife of Will Smith. Now, she's our wife. She's everyone's wife. Well, not mine, because I would never deal with her. You get my point, though. She's everyone's wife. All right, that, that was known from the jump. Well, it just came out that she said she she said that they've been separated since 2016. Once again, no, not a peep from Will. Not a peep from Will. If they're doing this for for clicks or for hits or for, for contracts or what have you, this is a terrible way to go about it. Christ said this, What be it if a, if a man gain the whole world and lose his soul? Why ruin your reputation, your integrity, your Will Smith? Why ruin yourself for a couple VH1, clear table, red table, purple table, yellow table, feces colored table talk with old Baldy, metal band masquerading, 58-year-old thought. I've got two questions. When are Israel, When is, when is the, the war in the Middle East going to end? And when is that broad Jada Pinkett Smith going to reach menopause? Damn. Let me tell you something real quick. Those of you idiots that are siding with, with uh, first of all, terrorist groups in uh, Hamas and Hezbollah saying that, you know, yeah, right on for attacking Israel. Listen, blacks, Latinos, and First Nations, we should not have a dog, to pick, a bone to pick in e with either side in this skirmish, in this war. God is bringing these criminals on both sides to war because he wants his people to rule in the Middle East. God is causing this war to happen. And there's nothing they can do to get out of it. But back to my point on Hezbollah, Hamas, what have you. These two groups are narco traffickers, and they have been known to be trafficking dope in the TBA trans border area between Brazil, Paraguay, and Uruguay. Loosely paraphrasing, you know, go check those that do check that acronym out for the specific countries. But it's a, it's a trans border area in South America where they've been known to peddle dope, man. They're responsible for the drug trade, which has caused the murder of thousands of South Americans, and it's destabilized those nations to the point that you've got 2.2 million. Immigrants coming here to America fleeing terrible conditions also caused by Hezbollah. Neither side is guiltless. Enough with the nonsense. Focus on your own damn life. Yo, what's going on? You know what it is. I should be key Toronto. Clearing the Gaza air. Got a lot of smoke over the Gaza Strip. Got a lot of smoke over in the Holy Land, so-called Middle East. What we need to understand is that the, the first of all, the Al-Aqsa and the, the current the current temple that the the jewish people have neither of those houses are the true houses of god black people latinos and first nations here in the united states and scattered across the world are the true jews or the true Israelite, israelites and where we gather is the temple is the house is the tabernacle of god of the most high because we are the people that have been recorded for thousands of years we are the people that are recorded in the most widely circulated book on planet Earth, and that book is called the Bible, a collection of books written by many, many great men over many millennia, and it was compiled on the order, on the under the under the inspiration of God Himself. And the people that are recorded in that book are nowhere to be found in large number in the Middle East. Most of the people in the Middle East are squatters. Most of the people in the Middle East are are due to be evicted by God. And that's what's going on in this whole skirmish. Skirmishes between Iran, Iraq, etc. that will that will escalate into the climax of the Third World's War. What you need to understand is that the people that are in that those lands are not the true and rightful inhabitants of those lands. You can check on check out many articles that state the 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 possibility that the Native Americans are actually from the Middle East, native natives of the the current Latin American countries from the Middle East. While well, I'm here to tell you as a prophet of God, that that is in fact true. The natives of North, South, and Central America do originate from the Middle East, and they left those lands many, many, many thousands of years before the white man came over here, over across the pond on his ships. Well, the white man and others came over, you know, across the pond on their ships. All right. We are the people that have the rightful claim to the Middle East. And until the rightful people are there, there will never be peace in that land. The Bible in many, many areas states, many, many chapters and verses states that when the true people, when the Jews are set back in their land, then there will be that there will be peace in the land. Again, I repeat, when the Jews arrive in the Holy Land, there will be peace in the land. Now, what do you have right now? Now, what do you have right now? You've got criminals throwing hot beer cans 
across the Iron Dome every every week, bi-weekly, they're getting beer cans. Meaning as soon as the Israelis, as soon as they see their pay stub, boom, getting hit with those hot beer cans sent over by Hamas. And we've got no stake in this war as blacks, Latinos, and First Nations. To hell with Israel and to hell with Hamas. Why do I say that? Because the Israelis have been involved, the so-called Jewish community has been involved in the bastardization of black culture. What do you mean by that? What I mean by that is the, the rap A and R's, the the hip hop, the heads of these record labels that that sponsor or that have signed many rap artists that have promoted one genre, one specific genre of rap. Uh, many of the owners, etc., are Jewish. This has been pointed out by many people, not just Kanye West, but Henry Ford and others have pointed those out. Those books and those quotes have since been since been lambasted as points of anti-Semitism, which is asinine because there are many different Semitic groups across the planet Earth. They're not the only Semites. Shooting black on our black people is anti-Semitism. Lynching black people and redlining them is, is true anti-Semitism. The slaughter of the Native Americans is anti-Semitism. The, the, oppression, the oppression of the First Nations, the oppression of the First Nations across this land, the Native Americans, that's true anti-Semitism. And the people that are in Israel today are not the real Jews. They're the imposter. And that's why every nation around them is seeking to destroy them, is seeking to vomit them out because the earth is vomiting them out from that land because they do not have the rightful claim to that land. Black people, Latinos, and First Nations are the true Jews according to the Bible, and they have rightful claim to the land. We are clearing the Gaza air here. If you have the, the privilege of listening, of hearing my voice, make sure you share this space with everyone that you know. This is the truth about the Israel versus Hamas uh, so-called war at this point. Now, this war is going to spur on uh, other nations, other groups, etc. You had heard reports of the Taliban stating that they would cross borders and they would come join their brothers their brothers in Allah, their their brothers in the black cube in Mecca, all right, because Allah is not a real God either. And I previously stated that Israel and Hamas are both criminals. Israel's, you know, they are guilty on many fronts as we as we've listed. You know, you can go check out the drug trade over there in Israel. Uh, you you would think that pork is lawful in Israel when they have. You know, many, many things that are listed in the Torah that they violate on a daily basis over there in Israel. They've got full-blown witches in Israel. So they're there in the land claiming to be the Jews, but they follow none of the words in the Torah. In fact, they follow the words of the Talmud. More on that later. Or in some sequence spaces. Now I jump to Hamas. Hamas is a narco-terrorist organization along with Hezbollah. Okay. There are some people on Twitter that are lambasting Israel and are siding with the Palestinians and siding with Hamas. That is a dumb move because Hamas is responsible in large part for the drug trade, for the death, for the destruction, for the mass murder that is going on here in Latin America that is spurring on this giant this giant mass migration that, that America is so-called bitching and complaining about. Uh, again, more on that in subsequent streams. They actually want these people up here so that they can establish you know, a slave force a, for a, a, a pool of slaves to pull from for cheap labor. That's what America has been built on, and that's what America will continue to have, and that is slaves. That's another topic. Hamas is responsible for the drug trade and the TBA, the trans-border area. Okay, the TBA is the region spanning. I'm squinting here. Paraguay, Uruguay, and Brazil. There's a few countries that are called the TBA that uh, the United States Justice Department did a review, a report, and found that Hamas is in this area running dope. Hamas is in this area running dope. They were, they were moving co amounts of cocaine, poundages of cocaine in the order of 12 tons. I repeat, 12 tons. 12 tons tons of cocaine in one in one sitting has been moved by Hamas it has been moved by Hezbollah they're taking that dope money and they're running it over to the Middle East to buy those hot ass beer cans that they're trying to throw at the Israelis forget about Hamas as well they're criminals as well once again all these people have eaten off of the true Jews are living are squatting in our land and one side's claiming they're the good guy the other side's claiming oh look at my dead child I'm the good guy now I'm not taking away from the fact that death is horrible, especially if you have experienced it in your family, you know, before the person's time, you know, at a young age or what have you. But what we cannot refute is that both sides are guilty of crimes and that this is in part a punishment from God for what they have done to the true Jews. You have a gigantic drug trade going on in Latin America, and not a small part of that is being funded by Hamas and by Hezbollah. 
Both of these people are criminals. This has been the clearing of the Gaza air, the true people of Gaza, of the Holy Land of the Blacks, Latinos, First Nations. Tune into more streams to find out more. The Bible in various areas, chapters, and books states that when the real Jews arrive in their land, which is today known as the so-called Middle East, that they would arrive in peace, meaning that they would not be invaded be via paragliders and have hot beer cans thrown at them bi-weekly. <clears throat> the so-called Jewish facing troubles and turmoils has been facing troubles and turmoils since 1948 because he is not the real Jew, and the people around him know that. They know that the real Jews, or the Yehudi, as they say in the Yiddish, <clears throat> are so-called black people here in America, and that's what they are keeping from you, hidden in plain daylight. This is information that you need to get a hold of. This is information that you need to focus on. All else is a distraction. So-called black people in America are the real Jews, and they will arrive in their land, and when they arrive, they will come in peace, because these nations will be destroyed. Black people, Latinos, and natives make up the 12 tribes of Israel, the Israelites. This is the truth that they're keeping from you, and this is why war between Palestine and Israel, war in the Middle East, will not cease until the true people are in the Holy Land. <clears throat> hey, listen, what we need to understand is that we are speedily heading towards a global war, the final global war, the final world war for all of recorded history. What we need, need to understand is as the world gets more global, we need to become more local. We need to be selfish, and we need to push forth with, forth with our own self-interest at heart. Blacks, Latinos, and First Nations need to take this time to absorb power, food, resources, shelter, what have you, and to use it to benefit ourselves. Israel and Palestine has absolutely nothing to do with us. These are two nations that, quite frankly, did not and could not care if we lived or died. We should focus on ourselves. We should not be promoting or, or sending and donating money to these people when, you know, the war or that battle has nothing to do with us and the decision to go to war, to not go to war, to fire rockets or not fire rockets is outside of our control. What we need to focus on are things that are in our control, our local, our families, our communities, and our own identity. We are the Jews. We are the real Jews according to the Bible. And in actuality, the land they are fighting over is our land. Take note. Apparently, Brittany Renner was interviewed by Shannon Sharp on some podcast Shannon Sharp runs, and she apparently revealed that she has 35 bodies. All right. And Shannon Sharp proceeds to act like he's shocked and starts drinking drinking shots of, of cognac, I guess it is, and whatever, some other clear stuff he had. Drinking alcohol and is acting shocked and surprised. It's mostly theatrics. I, I don't know what we're all shocked about. I don't know why this is breaking the timeline. I don't know why this is all over. I don't know why this is news or noteworthy. Like, she's a whore. I, I, I thought we all knew that and understood it. 35, 35 is probably low on it. She's probably, um, she's probably, she probably has more. Probably a low ball number. But even for this, yeah, 35 is an outrageous number for a woman. Um, when you, when you really peer into what it got her. And this should be, this should be a learning experience for women in that, you know, she's got 35. And what has it gotten her? She's in the same situation that you're at, working at Family Dollar, that you're at on Section 8, that you're at on Wick or what have you. So this whole idea of, of dropping it like it's hot for rich cats, ball players, what have you, does it really get you the things that you need in life? What you need in life is a man, all right? God said it. That's what you need in life. Does, does dropping it like it's hot really get you that? Now, granted, she can go and get some idiot that will put everything down to the side to keep her on his side so that he can look fly. Of course, this is the case. But she is still destroyed. She's still wasted years and years of her life. And who knows, you know, about the Lord's judgment on her for these things. Black woman, Latina, First Nation, you should see her example. She's got more bodies than you probably and the same to show for that you have. Let's find a better way. Hennessy, just like all alcohols, should be had, should be consumed in moderation. This is a little known fact about how to consume Hennessy, how to consume any alcohol. It should be consumed in moderation in times when you are not depressed or in a bad mood or doing it to try and escape reality. Don't drink when you're sad. Don't quit when you're tired. Don't finish when you're tired. You're not done when you're tired. You're done when you're done. So always make sure you're doing everything in the right spirit, in the right frame of mind, <clears throat> particularly drinking. I personally don't drink when I'm sad. I find ways to get the tasks at hand completed, and I work in a, with a sober mind 
to move the needle in the direction that I want it to go.